here's a typically untypical root issue playing itself out here. We've got a drain line coming from the building across here. Apparently this just drains the downspouts and gutters and so this break, broken line maybe is not so so serious. But if we look we see this rather large root coming across here and we believe it's coming from the ginkgo biloba over here. It's about 15 feet away and this is a pretty important root. I believe this root was developed by the tree because there's an irrigated area out beyond and the roots have been stimulated to go there and develop and over time they have lifted and swollen and like hydraulic jacks have lifted the decking to the point that the door couldn't be opened. So finally something had to be done about this. So we're still in the investigative process here just seeing what we're going to be able to do to to mitigate this situation. We don't really want to cut this root. We're hoping there's an alternative solution to this. We're going to see if it's possible to excavate around this root and actually let it come down deeper into the ground and reroute this old broken drain line and see whether or not these obstructions can be solved. So it's still, like I said, investigative right now. We're not sure what our final mitigation is going to be. We want to do something short of cutting roots though. Three quarters of urban trees that die, die because of root damage. And if we cut large roots like these from this tree, we're going to lose anchorage and stability and the source of supply for the tree to feed itself with water and nutrients and minerals that it's drawing from the soil all around it. Hopefully it's flexible and limber enough that we can, by excavating it, we can actually let it go down deeper into the ground. So that's going to be what we're going to try to accomplish. You can see we're starting to get a little bit of a yield here to this root. So if we continue to excavate it and undermine this root, it is possible we could push this down an inch or two. Hopefully that will be our remedy, something short of removing this very large and important root. This is a drain line. We've got a break in the line due to roots. We're going to run water through here and see where the outfall is coming. Possibly the break in the line actually brought a lot of surplus water to this site, encouraging the root development. So it could be that this roof drain actually ended up being a huge source of irrigation for the tree and explains this very massive development of the structure underneath the deck. Here's the drain for the outfall of the enclosed patio. So we would like to restore this line to usefulness, but we're going to have to figure out a way to get under that root. So that's our next challenge. So the deck has been removed, the root has been excavated, and as much as possible we have dug underneath the root, and then we have weighted the root with stones. We've padded it so that the roots aren't damaged by the rocks, and we've weighted this root down with perhaps 400 pounds of stones and we're trying to get it to settle down below grade so that when this deck comes back in the roots will be well below the deck's surface. This is a kind of a restoration of the deck that the root has disrupted. So you see what we've got here. It's a fairly good sized root. It's a good four inches in diameter and it is fairly soft and supple. It is yielded to the load of stones we're going to let it sit overnight and hopefully we'll get this root to stay well below grade for the decking to be replaced.